As fuel prices rise, more and more drivers are being tempted to fill up and run. But bowels are bandits. You're on notice because the servos are fighting back. They have no shame. We are seeing more and more theft every day. Brazen Bowser bandits. You are on camera. And now a high-tech weapon stopping them in their tracks. In the last 12 months, we prevented or recovered $15 million worth of dry bulbs. It's happening far too often at servos around the country. Thieves treating themselves to a full tank of fuel, but forgetting to pay up. This driver clad in high vis pulls up and checks the coast is clear before doing a run up. It seems there are many others suffering amnesia too, like this Audi driver in designer wear who clearly likes the finer things in life, but just doesn't like paying for it. How about this young lady with a work lanyard around her neck? Forget committing a crime, her biggest worry, checking herself out in the mirror. And surely someone knows who this man is. Yellow top, yellow car, hole in the window, now wanted by police. As the fuel prices go up, well, we get more thefts. They're gonna steal petrol because they can't afford to fill their cars. As we all feel the pinch from rising fuel prices, servos say they're under the pump too. We're losing money, so with that, they're stealing from us and then we have to not employ people around here because we don't have the money now. Marlene runs this Ampole petrol station in Brisbane where she says petrol drive-offs are rife. It ranges from young to old. Um, sometimes I actually get quite surprised when I see an elderly person doing a drive-off. So yes, it's, it's not just the young generation. Petrol drive-offs in Australia at the moment are costing retailers in excess of $70 million a year. And that number has grown by over 80% in the last 12 months. And she's gone. Theo Ficari from the Australian Association of Convenience Stores. With the increases in cost of living, with the increases in fuel prices, and with the significant reduction in police resources, what we're seeing is repeat offenders continuing to get away with it, and now they're just moving around from location to location. It's forced servos to take matters into their own hands. The technology, we have it installed at over 400 sites around Australia. Nathan Rogers from Sensen Artificial Intelligence. He says their system works by scanning number plates that pull up at the pump. If you drive off without paying, our customers can press a button to flag you in our national database. Meaning next time the same car pulls into a servo using the technology, an alarm will go off, shutting down the Bowser. What we have here is a live feed from one of our customer sites. As you can see, all the vehicles we've scanned are green, which means they're good to go and get fuel. What the operator would do if one of them turned red is they would get on the intercom and they would ask that vehicle to come in. They would give them a card, which would allow them to clear any debt associated with that vehicle across the network. The majority of fuel drive-offs are from repeat offenders. However, in the last six to nine months of this year, we are seeing a significant increase in new offenders. Think of other people because when you're stealing from my business, that means I don't get paid. 